back to my channel. Okay, let's get into this one right here. Congratulations, congratulations, Democrats and Kamala Harris. Not only the first black woman president, but the first woman president. Congratulations. <laughs> congratulations to black Americans. Just kidding. Or maybe not. So we're going to talk about this. If Kamala Harris not only becomes the first woman president of the United States, but the first black woman of the United States, what is that going to mean for the United States women and especially black Americans who claims this woman is black, just like they claim Indonesian Obama was black. Uh, we're going to get into voting and what the law is. We talked about that on my channel before. And I was, I, I was talking to somebody earlier today. It's just frightening that you have people that 60, 50, 70 years old and they have no idea in the world about the laws on voting in the United States. So we'll talk about that. First, why the hell is the NBA off today? And I said, what? The NBA is off today? There's no games being played today. And people will be like, is it a holiday? No, it's not a holiday. Today's not a holiday. Everybody worked for the most part, unless you just took the day off. All sports are playing, college basketball, NHL. So why is the NBA off? And you wonder why nobody is watching this trash. And I just heard that the that the NBA is down. Since the start of the season, their viewership is down a million compared to last year through this uh, through these uh, games. But they only play like seven, seven, eight games, right? But their viewership is down a million people. Wow. <laughs> you can't make this up, man. And these guys get the day off. Let, let's get back to reality. We all we all know the NBA is not a real sports league. We talked about that. So th this is what I want. I want Kamala Harris to win. I want the Democrats, Kamala Harris, and the Democrats to win. There's no other way for it to happen. These people put the economy in the greatest debt since the damn Great Depression. And now somebody else should come into office and burden that debt. And we talked about this before, people. You haven't even started to feel the debt that Kamala Harris and Joe Biden has done. You haven't even started to feel it. Billions, billions, plural, billions, billions, billions to other countries. Billions spent on spent on illegal immigrants. Billions spent on COVID. Not trying to say it's their fault, but you can remember remember the Democrats wanted nothing to do with COVID. What the heck? The Democrats wanted nothing to do with taking the shot, right? When COVID first began, when Trump was in office, go back and look at it. They said they don't trust it. They wasn't going to get the shot, right? Next, they gave money to all these companies and corporations, billions in COVID during the pandemic. They also told illegal immigrants, stay home. Don't cross the border to come get these COVID checks. Joe Biden told them they can apply on the computer. <laughs> oh, I tell you, I, I, I'll tell you, why would any Republican want a Republican in office after the, 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 the debt that these Democrats put us in. 
And again, folks, you're not even starting to feel it. The inflation that's coming in these coming years, you will feel this for the next 10 to 15 years. So why put it on Trump? Why don't they just eat this? Because there's no excuse if Kamala Harris wins that she can cry. Oh, I was dealing with all this inflation. Yes, your inflation, your debt, what you did. So please let her win so she can pile up more debt, more inflation. I want it to happen. And I, I was on no side, no Democrat, no Republican, because you already know I know what time it is. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But this is who I want to win. Not only that, all the black people, the black women, the black men who have the nerve to call this woman black. Right. But when they look at themselves, they look at their, their mama, they look at their grandmama, they look at their sister, she don't look nothing like you or them. An old saying that my, my, my uh, stepmother used to say, everybody wanna be black until it's time to be black. Kamala Harris, the same so-called black woman that put hundreds of black men behind bars this is your black woman this is who I want to win because after four years I want that smoke to clear and I want to see what she did I want your HBCU sister let's see what she did because she's been in office for four years remember it was the black girl magic Remember, when she was running with Biden, she, it, it, that's, the, that's what gave Biden that boost from black people. Was the black girl magic. Huh. <laughs> I can't wait. It, it ain't scary no more. It used to be like, you know, I used to be like, man, if these people win, these Democrats win again. It's going to be scary because the inflation and the debt that they put everybody through has nothing to do with skin color. You're disqualified. You got four years to do anything that was good for Americans. And what do you do? You help out companies and corporations. You help out illegal immigrants. You don't do nothing for the American. Let, let me say this. So the Democratic Party that was the blue collar party that was for blue collar workers, right? That's why a lot of black people, you know, ran to this Democratic Party because they used to be Republicans up until the 60s, right? Black Americans, they were business owners. They were blue collar workers. They were uh, conservative people. They were family people. And then they turn into these Democrats and the Democrats start giving them handouts and saying, sit back, you don't have to do nothing. <laughs> we'll bring in the immigrants and we'll put them in your spot. So th this, this Democratic Party, what have they did for black? No matter of fact, we, we, we don't even have to ask that question. <laughs> I mean, that's ridiculous to even ask a question that obvious. What we want to ask is, where do black Americans stand in this party? Because we already know this party, the Democrat Party, is a party for the gay community. It's a party for immigrants, right? And it's a party to help companies and corporations out to pretty much hire these illegal immigrants, right? Or just, just immigrants, period. Because now we can just bring in people you know, and clear out countries who are under dictatorship. Well, that's basically three quarters of the damn world, right? Where, where brown and black people live, right? So the, what the Democrats want to do, they want to clear out all the uh, third world countries. It's basically it. You don't have to be, you don't have to be Einstein to figure this out. They, they're going to clear out all the third world countries 
black people it was a good run in the in, in the united states you're going to be replaced by the uh west indians the jamaicans the barbabi the barbadians um haitians all these type of people these, these are going to be the new black americans okay you already, you already see it coming because you already see it now right so for black Americans, foundational black Americans, your time is pretty much up. It was a good run. You can see there's no more black power movement. There's no black power struggle. There's no good black music. There's no good black movies. All black culture is over, right? There's no more jazz. There's no more blues. There's no more black nothing. It's over. The new, um, the new thing is, and I, I seen it. As soon as 2000 came, and it's been going on for the last 24 years, getting these immigrants in to replace you okay that's it you never heard once while these people were screaming that black people should vote for them the the bill clintons the joe biden's the, the obamas whatever democrat that was running uh, uh, uh hillary clinton they never said anything they were going to do for black people nothing because they didn't want to be held accountable once they got in office right so once they got in office and they did nothing for black people guess what you can't hold them accountable obama never said he was going to do anything for black people nothing and he never did remember all these shootings police shootings while obama was in office all these police shootings obama didn't even address it obama didn't even address it say nothing homie act like it didn't even happen people was criticizing like bro you ain't gonna say nothing remember everybody's doing something remember they brought in a whole bunch of Indian people. That's what Kamala Harris did when, when, when she got in as vice president. Let a whole bunch of Indian, bro, a whole bunch of Indian people over here. So this, I, I can't wait because when these four, I, I don't want Trump to win. Please, Trump, go lay down, go, go, go put on your diaper, go to sleep, something like that. We don't want you to win. We don't want you enduring the, the, the economy, the bad economy that these people done ran up. They don't ran up. Um. So yeah, th this this has to be something. If I'm coming from another country and seeing the behavior of Black Americans, it's crazy. And this woman's been exposed already. In the mainstream media, ain't even talking about it. She's Jewish, Irish, and Indian. She don't have a Black grandma. And on top of that, let's go with the lie, right? You guys always talk about patriarchal society. You are what your father is, right? Well, her father's father is white. He's Irish. That means Kamala Harris's father is white. That means Kamala Harris is white. If we go with the patriarchal system, right? Which we found out that's a lie, Kamala Harris father is indian irish and jewish they don't have any black people and let me tell you something jamaican people you should be you should be furious about this furious about how they how she propped some black woman as her grandma in a book and said that was her grandma and candace owens did this woman's genealogy and exposed her they exposed her in the mainstream media this is through records documents everything in the in candace owens ain't don't joke around she get like four uh she gets about eight hundred thousand views a show a million a show so yeah we want kamala harris to win because this will be i, I think for black americans it, it, it's coming anyways but this is going to be like the dagger right here this is going to be the dagger right here for black Americans. It's going to be the dagger because I think right now they plan on wiping most of the black population out by, by the year 3000. They want them gone. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm not being funny. I'm not being cruel. I'm looking at what I've seen since I've been on this earth. You could go to any city limits and the black population was like 70 to 75 percent. You'd be lucky if it's, especially in the big cities, you'd be lucky if it's 15% now. That's genocide. It's genocide. I don't know what you want to call it. I know when I go look at my genealogy, 
and look at my people and my grandmother's family and my great grandmother's family and my great great grandmother's family and my great going all the way back to the 1600s, 1700s, 1800s, and early 1900s. You know what we had per family? Eight to 12 children per family. Today, you're lucky if it's two. Folks, that's genocide. And I'm not saying it's just for the, the black community. No. It's, it's all over the world. People's not having babies. And that's, that's another reason why they're bringing in all these immigrants. Because they have to, white people have the lowest birth rate. So they have to bring in all these immigrants. Not like the, not like they're not having a low birth rate where they come from. It's, it's like that too. But they have to replace the people. They need new slaves. They need new workers that work for cheap. They need people to occupy these houses, occupy these jobs, um, tear down more land, kill more wildlife, and build more houses, build more commercial buildings. All this stuff they need. The DMV needs to make more money for people getting licenses and all this stuff. They don't care about these people. Oh, many people claim asylum, man. They, they, they in a dictatorship. Bro, send the money over there and help them. Why do they have to come here? They, they never can explain that. They come here, they send the money back home to the dictatorship country <laughs> and come over here and work for the, 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 the companies and corporations for cheap. And they're only going to do it for a minute and then they move on and then you need more slaves, right? So you got to keep doing it because they're not going to keep working for that money. That, that, was in, that was slavery. That's, what was, that, that's how slavery was. There was no such thing as slavery. All of it was indentured slavery, people. Slavery is told to you as a lie. It's not, it's not the full truth. I can't wait to do the video where we have all the list. Because we already had the video where all these black slave masters own slaves, own hundreds of acres of land. From 1600, 1700, 1800, I, I just can't wait for that video to come out about all these black slave owners endorsing the Confederacy, right? The Confederacy war machine. I can't wait for that video. And you're going to see why they would want to take down all those Confederate statues. Thousands of black men fought in the Confederacy. of the South and all these black slave masters and black it, it wasn't just black slave masters it was black people in general that endorsed who were free that endorsed the confederacy and were confederates and gave money to the confederacy in the war machine right let's get back on track so they're, 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 that, this is what these people do they change history every every 80 years or something like that right because they only want you to live until about 80 years old right you got to do what the the people on tv is doing the celebrities right that they, they every time you look a celebrity is dead at 80 81 82 remember these are people with all the money can have all the best medicine live the best but they're, they're dying early they're dying when you're dying that's crazy huh okay that might be a whole different video um so yeah we want kamala harris to win because this, this is <laughs> let, 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 let's let's change the subject. We'll, we'll talk about that again in a minute. But in the Constitution, it says that the citizens have the regular votes in the I mean, not the regular votes. The citizens have the popular vote that doesn't vote the president in. That's just a feel good vote. That's all it is. In the delegates from the states. vote the president in and who is the delegates the representatives the congress people uh, politicians of the state senators governors I want to know how people is living on this earth for 50 60 70 years and they don't know their vote does not count towards voting the president into office and look, I'm not trying to say I'm Einstein or something, but I didn't know this until BBC said it. And I said, well, what? 
the BBC is saying this? So I, I had to go back and look at it. And this is in the Constitution. It was written in the Constitution when, you, when the United States formed after the War of Independence. Yep. In every president, I won't say every, because if you want to deal with inflation, how much it would cost at different times, but we're talking about like now and in the past couple years or whatever like that to run for president you have to spend 11 million dollars no and it's not really of your own money i mean trump did it one year but that's why people are endorsing you companies and corporations who run the united states right these are the people who run the united states companies and corporations right they give money to third party third party lobbyists to hand the politicians to make the rules in this country Right. So if you're not handing money to lobbyists to make laws, to change laws, to break laws, then what are you doing? How do you think your vote counts then? Other than we just told you, your vote doesn't count. Your vote is a popular vote. It's a feel good vote. The delegates vote. That's why you got two different votes. Um. So we'll see what happens, man. It'll be interesting. I, I want to see the the, the <laughs> I want to see the nonsense go on, right? Maybe Oprah will be crying, the first black president. This, this, <coughs> this is what I will get. These people will call themselves black out in public, but will never call themselves black when they in public trying to get something. Or trying to be something, right? I, I don't understand. Why, white people got to be looking at this like, what? It, this is your black woman? So you're trying to tell me. You're trying to tell me all these presidents throughout time. And this is, you never had a black president? Or never... A, a black woman president or a black man president this is what you got people who are claiming they're black indonesian obama his mama ran from indonesia right and had him in hawaii wow this is crazy and if go go look at indonesian president look just like obama go type in indonesia president right now you're gonna flip out oh shit! indonesian Indonesian. Um, and Obama, that, that's not his mother neither. But I, I won't fight you on that. That's not his mother neither. Um, that he says his mother. And an Indian woman who was Jewish, Irish, and Indian. Wow. It, it's just crazy, man. It, it, it's it's going to be good, though. It's gonna be good. Sit, sit down. We, we don't. Why put this burden on Trump? Keep this burden on the Democrats. It might be a civil war. I don't know. The way these white people acting in the South, I don't know. But I, I could just imagine the black folks in the South, right? In the '60s, the '50s, the '40s, knowing now that they represent a gay party. You know these black Christians? They would just be. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Sorry Your party now Is a gay party Could you imagine those elders That was living back At that time What they would be saying today That their party that they represent Or represents them Is now a representative of gay people and look no offense against gay people i'm not trying to say nothing but i'm just saying why is it this in the republican party i would just like to see these elders back then right because back then they were republicans they were conservatives they were business owners they were blue collar workers they were family people the, the black people back then even the, even in the 1800s this is what the, the, the black community was. 
They were the painters. They were the carpenters. They were the manufacturers. They were the goldsmiths. They were all this, the, the farmers. Business owners. And now, you're, and now the black community is none of that. And it doesn't surprise me because black people are like the, the, the they, they're the leaders of, of, the, of, the, of the gay movement. The RuPaul's, the uh, when you see stuff like you know now Dwayne Wade and his son, what's this guy's name? <laughs> um, I can't. Little Richard, you had Jimmy Butler in the closet. All the uh, Puff Daddy. I just want people to understand. And gay marriage came out and got approved. It was a law passed under who? Not only the Democrats, but under the first so-called black president. Wow. Let me tell you something. You know, I said this before. Ask your grandpa. Ask your great -grand grandfather. Your great 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 grandfather. And he's just Christians, devout Christians. Don't second guess them. You go ask them. Some of them ain't a lot, but I'm just saying, if you ask them back then about gay marriage and they approve of gay marriage, they'll probably smack you in the face for even asking them that question. Right? If Obama was this real black man, he ain't got to be like, you know, hateful about it. And I know he didn't approve gay marriage. And you can't tell me these, uh, 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 what are they, uh, the Supreme Court. And you see how old they is, 80, 90, 70. You tell me these is Christian people? And they, they heterosexual. You trying to tell me this is what these people are at 80, 90, 70, 60 years old? Obama would have been like, look, a real black man would have been like, look, you had all these white presidents, all these white presidents to approve gay marriage. And it took you until now for a black man to be in office for you to want to approve this. Well, I'm going to tell you what. No hate. They can have their day. It's cool. When are you going to approve it? Tell me the date so I can make arrangements so I can bow out the office and get the hell out of here before you approve it because it ain't no damn way you're going to approve that ish on my watch as the first black president. Well, guess what? Obama didn't do nothing. He actually supported it with Jay-Z and all these other fools. Will Smith, John Legend, all these fools. Am I against gay people? Nope. The problem is they shouldn't have no right to be telling people what they can do, what they can't do in the damn first place. That's the government. Remember, they told they said women can't have rights. These are the people you vote for. And then they gave women's rights back. I thought these people was here playing God. But I'm just using an example of something ain't right because real Christians ain't gonna approve of nothing like that just like I told you guys before gay people and straight people don't kick it on the regular like that it's nothing no hate well maybe some people might hate but we just don't kick it like that Ecuadorian people and Brazilian people don't kick it like that no hate just different culture different ways of being just because they speak Spanish that don't mean they're gonna kick it So what I'm trying to tell you is th these people are, are hiding behind a mask. These people that approve this stuff. It's not because they're trying to get somebody equal rights It's because that's what that's what they are. Anyways, that's how they feel. Anyways. What right do you have now? Oh, to get married like everybody else and pay money. Well, good for you. But yeah, heterosexual people ain't going to prove nothing like that. That's all I'm trying to say. 
what I'm trying to tell you is these, these people ain't who they really, you know, come off as. So these, these Democrats are real destructive. I don't know what happened to them, but they, they lately they've been real destructive to especially to American people, especially foundational American people. So tonight I'm going to be rooting that Kamala Harris wins. With all Republican people stand down, why are you trying to take on this? Why are you trying to take on this burden that, that these Democrats don't, don't, don't put us into? Right? Again, what I'm going to tell you is Trump is not about to come in office and change what we ain't even felt yet. What's coming is 10 to 15 years long. Okay? So Trump might be able to stop it from getting worse. Yes, I believe that. But he's not going to stop what has already been. What they have already done. He ain't going to be able to do it. Sorry, folks. That, that's just the reality of it. This ain't about Democrat and Republican. And it's not about immigrant um, and foundational American. What you guys got to remember is what happens in the United States it is a reflection um what do you want to call it uh i forget the word <laughs> well let's just say whatever happens in the western hemisphere in the united states it, it's it's a ripple effect on all the west of the rest of the western hemisphere maybe not canada but mexico el salvador guatemala brazil um panama whatever it is jamaica barbados we control a lot of stuff coming out of this country. So when our country goes down and it goes into worse debt or more debt or it's going good, these other countries in the Western Hemisphere feel it too. Even worse. And guess what? Or, or better. Whatever, whatever we're doing. Because these are third world countries except for Canada. So if our country is doing bad, their country's going to be doing even worse and they're, they're just going to keep running out of their country. I done been to these places. Um, same thing over there in, in, in the East. If Europe is doing bad, it's bad on the Middle East. It's bad on Africa. It's bad on, you know, some parts of Asia and, and, and stuff like that. That's just how it is. So, look. They're going to do your popular vote. And we're gonna see what happens. Both, both. This is a joke. Look at the people that got you. They got you an old man that need to be in Pampers. That was on TV firing people. Um, is a so-called racist. But before he was, before he was a, a, a ran for president and politician, a lot of his friends was black. Go well, look it up. Oprah Winfrey, Bill Cosby, Puff Daddy, Mike Tyson, Tupac. Um. You name it. You name it. You name it. All the black people going to say Trump. They didn't know this guy is a racist. Jesse Jackson, Al Sharp, all these are his friends. And now he's a racist? <laughs> you guys are something else. And the, the fact that he's trying to protect black people from getting wiped off the map in America is crazy that black people... <laughs> <laughs> I'm to, and black people like keep wiping me out. I'll keep voting for people that just came yesterday and live in better houses than me, better car, driving better cars, have better jobs. I just keep voting for these people. These people got to be looking at the black people. Black people like what? You're helping us out to get in front of you. <laughs> this is this has to be the American dream. This is the American dream to come over here. And get in front of people that's been here for centuries. People who fought in the American Revolution, the Civil War, Guam, the Spanish-American War, Vietnam. Everything these black people fought in. But all these people now come in and just walk in it. Now, look, before when immigrants used to come, it was different. They used to have to struggle and, you know, work all these bad jobs and um, get paid nothing. And you know, maybe live like in, in bad neighborhoods and stuff like that. Not it ain't like that no more. It ain't like that no more. These people is if boom on impact. 
got good credit, have nice houses, nice cars, bringing their whole families over here. It's so easy to get money now. It's crazy. But yeah, just to watch a people dog themselves out is just the most amazing thing you've ever seen in your life. You're voting yourself, even though your vote don't count, but you're, you're voting and telling people, exterminate me, put out my fire. You have nothing for it. You said I was a slave. Where's all my money? They literally gave money to slave owners after slavery because they had paid for these slaves. And when they abolished slavery, they gave money. And guess who was invested in, 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 in these uh, slave holdings? Go look at it. Call. Go look at it, the investors that was invested in slave holding. It was colleges. It was companies and corporations. And guess what? These black folks was getting rich. Not just white people, black folks who got rich off of slavery. Go look at it. That's why you never get reparations for slavery. Because you don't know nothing about it. They just telling you you was a slave, but they ain't telling you the whole story or the other people. They ain't tell <laughs> I'm going to give you some names. And I'm going to ask, do they sound familiar? Because a lot of people been here before. This ain't your first time here. It ain't your first time here. People keep getting reincarnated. That's what keeps life going. That's if you come back. Some people don't don't come back. But a lot of people have been here before. Did these names ring some bells? Andrew Jackson. Thomas Jefferson. Abraham Lincoln. George Washington. King George. King James. They sound familiar? They sound familiar. No, not like they told you who they are. Do they sound familiar? They all were black. This is in the, the law library. This is in the um, New York State Library. This is in Cambridge University. All these people were black people. Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, Andrew Jackson, Abraham Lincoln, King George III, King James. <laughs> Do you think LeBron don't know about King James? Do you think he just called himself King James after a white man? No. So yeah, black people, you don't had your presidents, you don't had your kings before. They just changed history on you. Tell me what you think.